What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fashion TV, and tonight I'll go my AEW Dynamite review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please full watch the video before you connect to me the right way. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube Sunday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Find out my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord threads down below in the description. Now, let's get started. Now, AEW Dynamite was a solid show, and I give it a 5.5 out of 10. It says, it's Wednesday, my dudes. You know what that means. Okay. <clears throat> it says, Pyro kicks us off for our 200th edition of AEW Dynamite as we head to ringside for our opening contest. <coughs> Excuse me. Our first is Chris Jericho with Kunusuke Takeshka, accompanied by Don Callis, as they head to, to the ring. Highlights of Jericho's run on Dynamite are shown before Sammy Guerrero and Daniel Garcia step out, eager to show their strength without the brand of the Jericho Appreciation Society in this match. Okay. <clears throat> the bell rings and this match is officially underway. Okay. So we get Chris Jericho and Kunusuke Takeshka Versus Sammy, versus Sammy Guerrero and uh, Sammy Guerrero and Daniel Garcia. This will say a uh, solid match, solid tag team match. Okay, we start off with Jericho and Guerrero as the Jericho as Chris Jericho takes Sammy Guerrero down with a shoulder tackle. Only for Guerrero to kip up. The two go at it until Sammy takes Jericho down with a drop kick, but Jericho responds with so, some hard chops. Sammy Guerrero takes it right back to him with with a knee strike to the face before tagging in Daniel Garcia. The pair double team Jericho for opposing for the crowd to Jericho's annoy, annoyance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jericho and Garcia lay into each other's with strikes until Garcia fights off Jericho's with some dancing, which he does after taking taking Jericho down to the canvas. Jericho tells Garcia off before tagging in Takeshka, who deals with a dancing fool, and then Garcia after some hard strikes. Takeshka takes Garcia down for a near fall, marking him in the process. Before tagging Jericho back into the match, double team leads to a suplex, but Jericho for a near fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Takeshka gets involved before Jericho hits another suplex for another near fall, bringing him to his feet to lay in some forms until Dan Garcia starts fighting back. Dan Garcia hits the ropes where Collis catches his foot, leading to Jericho. Taking him down hard as we go to picture and picture. <clears throat> We're back from picture and picture. Jericho continues to attack on Darren Garcia, taking him from corner to corner as he taunts Darren Garcia and the crowd in unique measures. <clears throat> Darren Garcia fights back, <clears throat> but it's kept it's kept from making the tag as Takashka gets involved. He wears down Garcia before looking in, locking in the ambitional stretch, getting a little leverage from Jericho before the referee admonish him. It continues a, <clears throat> it continues a little longer before Takashka hits a backbreaker on Garcia, tagging Jericho back into to continue the fight as we come back. <clears throat> Jericho continues the attack until Darren Garcia starts fighting back, only for only for the Jericho to take him down before going for a lion sword, landing on the knees of Darren Garcia. Darren Garcia reaches and crawls, finally getting to getting a tag to Guerrero as Takeshka comes in, only to get dropped with a crossbody by Guerrero, who dives onto Jericho and Takeshka after both men end up on the outside. Guerrero brings Takeshka back into the ring, hitting a Spanish a splash off the top rope for a near, 
near fall before Jericho breaks it up. Jericho and Guerrero get get into a shoving each other until Garcia rushes in, going after Jericho. But Takeshi comes in next, taking him down before locking in the walls of the walls of Jericho on on Sammy Guerrero. <clears throat> Sammy Guerrero refused to give up. However, as Jericho tags back in, Guerrero managed to to tag to get a tag in, but runs into a code breaker. But by Jericho for a near fall. Daniel Garcia starts to fight back, taking Jericho down for for the cover until Takeshka breaks it up, leading to chaos until Guerrero ends up hitting a shooting star press on onto Takeshka. Back in the ring, Garcia Daniel Garcia drops Jericho and lock him in the Dragon Tamer as Guerrero keeps Takeshka at bay. But Don Callis gets involved, hitting Garcia in the head with a bat. Jericho catches wind off this, shouting at Don Callis, who t- tells him to get the cover. And Jericho recruitly does, taking the pin and the win. The winner of the match, Chris Jericho and Kunusuke Takeshka. This was a solid tag team match. Nice open match here. To the, the, ac- the, the action. <coughs> Sorry about that. Nice opening match here. Dug the action, but but I think the main story here is Jericho realizing what joining the Don Callis family is all about. I feel like this is truly the end of Jericho Appreciation Society, but I'm curious to see what happens next. We cut backstage where Tony Khan hypes the 200 episode of AEW Dynamite. Um, like, looking at the great people Involved in, in, in its history. Video package. AEW Dynamite and the people involved over the 199 episode leading up to tonight's milestone edition. <clears throat> Commercial break. Renee Paquette is backstage with Jericho who is cut off by Daddy Magic. Announcing a mandatory meeting of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Jericho walks off as we go back to ringside, where Tony Chavon welcomes the FTW champion Jack Perry, who grabs the microphone from Tony, telling Jack, um, Jerry Lynn to get out to the ring. Jerry Lynn, yeah, Jerry Lynn comes out with the comes out to the ring with the mic of his own, telling Jungle Boy, <coughs> telling Jungle Boy. He doesn't run the show before saying he won't come down there and be and beat up Jungle Jungle Boy Jungle Perry because that would be child abuse. Jerry Lynn says he also doesn't run the show he, around here, and the doctors won't be able to clear him. But he called up he called up a good friend. He yeah he called he called up. He said he he said he called up a good friend who also happened to have wrestled for ECW and happens to still wrestle. With that, Robin RB Robin Dam comes out to the stage with Walk by Ventura playing him out to a big pop from the crowd, who chant his his intels as RVD heads to the ring. Staring down the FTW champion, standing across from him before Jack Perry leaves the ring, <clears throat> heading up the ramp as Jerry Lynn meets his old friend and rival in the ring. Suddenly, Jack Jack Perry comes back and comes back to the ring with a steel chair, only to be cut off before he escapes to the crowd. <clears throat> what did you? What did y'all say? I pop big for big time for a while playing RVD out. If someone can go still go, I am happy to see them. RVD versus Jack Perry could be could <coughs> excuse me could very well be a fun one to see. <clears throat> Back at ringside, Trent Barretta heads to the ring for our next match. Our next is Penta L Zero, Miedo. 
followed by the arrival of John Moxley through the crowd towards ringside, where Trent launches himself at Moxley before this match gets underway. Okay. So we get anything goes match. John Moxley versus Trent Beretta versus Penta L Zero Miedo. This is a true threat match. And this match right here, this was um this was a uh this was good. This was a good triple threat match. Penta launches himself at Trent next and things are already getting chaotic at the start of the bout before John Moxley brings Trent into the ring. Laying it to him as Penta brings the trash can into the ring. Slamming Moss on the head with it. He follows to he follows with a lid shot to the cranium of Beretta, but Mosley interrupts him as he plays to the crowd. Mosley leaves the ring, reaching under for a bar wire two times for that that he brings into the ring, but only for Penta to go after him. Trent Beretta interrupts as Fear Factor with a trash can lid to the head, <clears throat> but Mosley takes advantage of the opening. Opening by driving and diving the two times four into the head before spiking Trent with a power drive onto it. Um, King Kong Larry by Moxley gets reversed into a suplex by Trent before Panther pulls the best friends out of the ring. <coughs> Excuse me. A couple tables are set up at ringside as Panther lays Trent across one of them. But he, but as he gets up to the top, turnbuckle. He intercepts by John Mosley, who drops him to the floor. Trent is back up now, climbing the top, climbing the turnbuckles before bringing John Mosley crashing through the table with a superplex. As we go to picture and picture, we're back from picture and picture. All three men are laid out at ringside as Panther makes his way back into the ring, while John Mosley and Trent have have not started stirring, stirring yet. <clears throat> Panther leaves the ring. To grab another couple tables from outside as John Mossy is finally back to his feet. Getting back into the ring where Penta goes after him, only for Trent to get involved. This ends up with Mossy finally getting back up, setting a table against the turnbuckle before Trent stops him with a trash can. As Penta gets back to his feet, things were things are very evenly matched as we come back. We see Penta and Trent working together against John Mosley, but that is st- short-lived as Penta sends Trent onto the table. Penta climbs the top turnbuckle, but is met by Beretta, only for Penta to send him through a, through a table with the Canadian destroyer before John Mosley sends him through the table in the corner with a shoulder tackle. John Mosley looks to be in control as he grabs a bag. Unveiling the whole lot of thumbtacks as he drops them in, onto the canvas. John Mossy setting Panta up for a Death Rider, but Panta looks for the Fear Factor. No, John Mossy gets the Garch style power driver on Panta on, onto the term, thumbtacks, but it's only enough for a near fall. John Mossy grabs Panta and drops him back into the tax, followed by Cutter. Followed by Cutter. Um, yeah, follow, where is it? it says follow by a cutter on Trent, who responds with a back, back, backpack driver on John Mossy onto the, onto the tax. Trent with the cover, but Penta throws the trash can at Trent to break the count. All three men get back to their feet, now trading strikes until Trent takes a kick by Penta and a lariat by Mox. <clears throat> Penta and Mosley trade blows now, before Mox hit the paragraph shift on Panta only to get taken down by a Trent Trent knee strike with Trent covering Panta for the pin and the win. The winner of the match, Trent Brent said this was a good triple threat match. Trent doesn't get a lo- get long to celebrate as John Mossy is back up, going for a choke on him, but the black B C C arrive at ringside, only to be count- countered by the arrival of best friends. Things t- things turn to chaotic as the two groups gotta go at it before Blackpool Comic Club. Uh, yeah, Blackpool. Com- 
BCC, Blackpool Comic Club escapes the ring. Chuck Grasse, microphone, Colin B, Blackpool Comic Club out for a parking lot brawl at Red, at Red Page in Jacksonville. Fun, 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 anything goes match tonight. Really does the brutality on display at a nice follow up from last week's triple threat tag, tag match. A good win for Trent Burton that lead us to the challenge for a parking lot brawl at Rampage. Video package FTR successfully retained the AEW World Tag Team Championships against MJF and Adam Cole this past Saturday on Collision. Y'all should have gave the Tag Team Championship to MJF and Adam Cole. And Adam Cole. Y'all should have put a trigger right there at Collision. That would be awesome if MJF and Adam Cole would became the AEW World Tag Team Champions. You know I'm speaking facts on that. But anyway, but it didn't happen. Let me continue. But it should happen at Collision, but it didn't happen. It says commercial break. Backstage, Renee talks to Rob Van Dam about his conversation with Jack Perry. And RVD challenged Jack Perry to an FTW Championship match next week on Dynamite. He talks about what he may or may not do after he beats Jungle, Jungle Boy next week. Jungle Boy is going to retain the FTW Champion. And that's all I got to say. Back at ringside, AEW World Champion MJF heads down to the ring itself to address a few things as of late, looking a little more chipper than usual, given his apparent change of heart. MJF says he's a little emotional and wants to have a real heart-to-heart with everyone in Tampa at watching at home. <clears throat> MJF brings up his attention deflected this disorder and dealing with how hard it is was to deal with rejection due to RSD and being bullied for it. Okay. He goes into the day that a, that a bunch of kids bully him with quarters and slurs something and jail still remember to this day. He became a scumbag after believing that was the only way to survive in this world. <clears throat> and admits that being a scumbag is easy. What's hard it what hard is being unnearable and open with emotions. <clears throat> the champ says he was afraid of being booed for being open with the fans, but he isn't scared anymore. The fans taught him that they do they do care about MJF and that and that they have sympathy for the devil. He's not gonna change overnight after all he's still a scumbag. But he is their scumbag. The crowd the crowd pops big for this chanting. He's our scumbag, much to his assess assumments before <clears throat> MJF addressed the person who taught that living with hate in your heart ain't no way of living at all. His best friend Adam Cole, baby. <clears throat> Adam Cole arrives to the stage, walking down the ramp to the ring before getting a microphone. Adam Cole says MJF continues to impress him, to which the champ says he he pretty, you know what, impressive. Adam Cole gives the champ props for his hard work and for the man he becomes sharing his story. But MJF is not alone. For years, Adam Cole was a jerk. Because he thought that was what he needed to succeed and become, he was scared of being the man he was meant. He was meant to be, and MJF is becoming the man he needs to be. <clears throat> the people, the people cheer for the champ, not not only because he's one of the best pro, pro wrestler in the world, <clears throat> but they see the good man he he's becoming. The, not the only is Adam Cole proud of MJF. <coughs> Excuse me. But the people are proud of him as well. MJF thanks him for the kind words and for wearing the new belt. Then you bay, bay t shirt. But he called Adam Cole out because the champ made him a promise. Win or lose or draw, MJF will give Adam Cole another shot at the AEW 
World Championship. MJF has been thinking about it long, long and hard, and long, long and hard, and he decided he doesn't deserve a match. He, yeah, he doesn't deserve. He thinks long and hard, and he doesn't, and and he doesn't. <clears throat> where was I? He said, and he doesn't deserve a match. Okay, at least not just any match, but the match in front of the in front of the most historic crowd in the history of our sports on the most historic night, the main event for the AEW World Championship at AEW All In. <clears throat> MJF presents a contract for Adam Cole <clears throat> to sign, to which Adam Cole obliged. Adam Cole says, sees it, <coughs> sets it, sets it down after signing it, telling MJF he loves him. MJF loves Adam Cole too, leading to the two men hugging it out to a big pop. We get a graphic on the screen as the two enjoy a little. And to enjoy a little jaw jacking before playing to the crowd as their tag music plays. <clears throat> we cut backstage where Roger Sean where Roger Sean is angry about the friend friendliness friendlessness of MJF. Only for the Kano to approach approach him briefly before leaving. And there we go. I don't call Gets another shot at the AEW World Championship at All In, in which we are getting on pay per view through the usual channels. But Watch Sean is mad about how nice MJF is being, and and I don't blame him. Looking forward to the match though. This was a good pro. This was a good segment right here. Good segment. <clears throat> but I believe that Adam Cole is going to attack MJF at the pay per view, and that's all I gotta say. I believe so, but I could be wrong. Backstage, the elite of Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks head to the ring for our next contest. Our next, our next are Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Statham sign along with Karen Jarrett and Sanjay Dub before this match gets underway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we get the elite Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks versus Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, and Statham sign. And this match right here. This match was um um this was this was a um this was a um decent match. We start off with Kenny Omega and Jeff Jarrett, a clash between the two former T TNA World Champions. Sort of as Jack um Jarrett Jeff Jarrett gets a side headlock on Kenny Omega before dropping him to the canvas. Tag made to Jay Lethal before Kenny Omega wrenches his arm, with Matt tagging himself in for more damage before Nick Jackson tags in as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tag are more frequent as Matt comes back in, demanding Statham sign to Statham sign be tag in. When he does, Matt Jackson thinks better of it, only for only for Kenny Omega and Nick Jackson to walk away. Um, Statham sign goes after him until Nick Jackson tags back in. After all, but Statham sign takes both men down easily. Before he, um, Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal taunt the crowd as we go to picture and picture. Back from picture and picture, Jeff Jarrett comes back and formally being in control of the situation as he goes after Nick Jackson against the ropes. He he admonished by the refs but gets away, going back on the attack. Before tagging in Jay Lethal in for in for more damage, Jay Lethal keeps Nick Jackson at bay with a drop kick after an arm drag attempt by Nick Jackson. Before Jay Lethal tags him to the to the corner for some hard stomps, Nick ja Nick Jackson starts to fight back, but to a normal ball as Jay Lethal hits a bad breaker for near fall. Tag made to Jeff Jarrett as the two double team Nick Jackson before we go to as we go back from break. <clears throat> Jeff Jerry gets caught with a super kick that really rocks him, leading to Nick Jackson making the tag to Kenny Omega. As Jeff Jerry tags back to Jay Leto, who gets dropped with a forearm, fireman's carried by Kenny Omega, only for Staten Sign to try to stop him. The Young Buck stops Staten Sign 
but that was enough for Jay Lethal to avoid the double stomp, only for a lethal injection to be cons- be countered to a super kick by the Young Bucks. And it's a full on uh, super kick party against Jeff Jarrett and Statham Son as well. <clears throat> Kenny Omega tries to lift Statham Son up for a one wing angel as Karen, dis- Karen Jarrett distracts the ref, but Sanjay Doug gets involved. <coughs> Leading to the lethal combination by by Jay Lethal. Brandon intercepts Karen Karen Jarrett. Sanjay Dutt intercepts Brandon. And now the Hardys are out as Jerry 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 tries to hit Kenny Omega with the guitar. But only to take only to take a buckshot Larry by at Hangman Adam Page who runs in. <clears throat> Jay Lethal grabs the guitar in a tag, but <clears throat> but is intercepted by Kenny Omega, who gets dropped with the one winged angel, giving the elite the pin to giving the pin and the win. The winner of the match, the elite. This was a decent match, but I, but I was not surprised at the same time. <clears throat> Kenny Omega grabs a microphone, telling Paige to tell them what's on your mind. Je- leading to Paige, confirm, confirming the group have resigned and look to look uh, forward to the next. To the to the next two hundred episode of, it, of Dynamite, Kenny Omega cuss cusses Yusuf goodbye and good night speech, taking talking about seeing the fans whether on Dynamite Rampage or maybe even Collision before the Elite and heads up the ramp to the back. <clears throat> Fun trios match, even if even even if the finish was a bit chaotic. Good win for the Elite here. Nice tease in this post match speech by referring to maybe showing up on collision in the future maybe. <clears throat> we cut we cut to footage of the mogul ambassador pay paying a visit to the buddy to the buddy Wayne Academy to check in on Nick Wayne, which leads to to a beat down at the Academy when they especially visit towards Nick telling him to give Darby a call. So they can taunt him from a distance as as the ghost of the past hanging up the car as they leave a bloody Nick Wayne behind. <clears throat> that was a brutal segment to see, but it makes the story all the more interesting as a result. Very eager to see the Bassy get their comp comp you comp you appearance of this. Okay. Back at ringside, Ozzy Open makes their way to the ring for our first title match of the night as we go to commercial. <clears throat> commercial break. Back from commercial, Commander and El Hajo, El Hajo del Vikingo Bikin, head to the ring before this ROH tag title match gets underway. <clears throat> okay. So we get Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship match. Ozzy Open defense against Commander and El Hydro Del Vikino. And this match right here, this was um this was um yeah, this was a uh um pretty good match for what it was. We start off with Fletcher and Vikino both showing off their high five pro pro rest before Vikino takes Fletcher out of the ring with a head scissors. Davis comes running in as Commander tags in, leading to Davis and Fletcher regrouping before Davis tags in. Davis used his power before tag, tagging Fletcher back in. Two men going after Commander until the Luchador starts fighting back until only for Fletcher to, t- to take him down for a near fall. Commander starts fighting back again, this time going a rope walk until Fletcher stops him, but Commander sends him into the uh, into the outside. To the outside, instead, Davis coming running, comes running in, but is cut off by Commander and Vakino before being sent out. Fletcher is back in, but is taken down hard, leading to the hanging leg drop on Fletcher, only only to Avery and a double dive onto Aussie Open. But it's intercepted by Ozzy Open, drive, drive them back to back to get the 
advances as we go to pitcher and pitcher. Back from pitcher and pitcher, the champ are in control now as Davis stays in landing to commander for near fall. Davis stays on the attack here, but we get another near fall for his efforts before Davis holds the commander up and Fletcher tags in. Fletcher catches Rankino before covering commander, but the luchador still has fight in him as he knocks out. I mean, as he kicks out, I'm sorry. Tag made to Davis who runs in with a sent time, but Commander evades it as Rankino leaps into the into action with a tag and gets a near fall as we come back from break. In anti air by Ozzy Open drops Rankino, but he kicks out all th- uh, 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 kicks out all the same. Fletcher is frustrated as McKino avoids a double team for a moment, only for a only for a double elbow to take him down. Commander leads into the ring to even the odds as McKino gets back into it, leading to a double rope walk. Moves on, uh, on, on Aussie Open. Commander and McKino are back in the ring. As they hit a double four fifty splash on Davis, on um, Fletcher is Fletcher breaks it up. Fletcher is sends sends McKinnon to the outside as Davis avoids the road walk shoot with star press by Commander and is tagging Fletcher as they hit a double Larry and the car 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 alls for for the pin and the win. The winner of the match and still your ring of honor reward tag team champions are the open. Um, this was a pretty good match. Pretty good tag team match. Really enjoyed that ROA tag title match. Great showcase of high flying of a Kino slash commander and the uh, technical power displayed by Ozzy Open. Good win for the champs to retain. Okay, video package. CM Punk puts the real world championship on the line against Ricky Starks on collusion with Ricky, Ricky Steamboat as the guest referee. So we go to commercial break. At ringside, Hukari Shida makes her way to the ring for, for our main event of the evening, following by the AEW Women's World Champion herself as Tony Storm heads to the ring. Moments later, this match gets underway. So we get the AEW Women's World Championship match. Tony Storm defends against Hukari Shida. This was a decent match. A champ, the champion and the challenger circled the ring before trading blows in the, in, in the middle with Tony... Tony Storm getting an early advantage, but not for long. As Hukari Shida fights back, the action goes to the ropes, where Tony Storm managed to get out of the ring for for a breather with her follow outcast as Shida waits in the ring. Tony Storm heads back in the ring, where Shida goes back on the attack until Tony sends her to the ropes, only for Shida to take her down with a shoulder tackle. Um... Sheeta goes off on the champ with punches, flipping her onto the stomach, onto her stomach for more damage until Tony Storm reaches the road so t- to force a break. Hukaru Sheeta heads out to heads out attacking Tony Storm until uh, the, until the outcast shouts at her, and Sheeta hits a big kick on Tony Storm before sending the champ into the barricade. Sheeta rolls on into the ring to break the count before counting. Counting, counting the attack on the outside until Tony Storm drops her onto the barricade. Tony Storm, yeah, Tony Storm sends Hukari Shida back into the ring as she goes on the offense now, only for the challenger to fight back with a suplex into the corner on Tony Storm. Another suplex by Shida gets her back in control, but the champ pulls her hair. To stop the momentum, Sheeta sends sent to the ropes as Tony Storm hits a big hip attack, sending her flying to the outside, where the outcasts were waiting, attacking while the ref is distracted. Tony Storm heads out to heads out to bring Sheeta back into the ring, but only gets a near fall as we go to pitcher and pitcher. Back from pitcher and pitcher, Tony Storm is is still firmly in control, sending Sheeta to the corner. As she stumps away, but the challenger tries to fight back, but it's not used to it's not used as Tony Storm rocks her, sending her head first into the canvas as the outcast chair 
her arm from ringside. Tony Storm with the cover, but it's only a near fall, which annoys the champ as she goes back on the attack. Tony Storm sends the challenger flying by her hair before locking in a full Nelson on the canvas as Sheeta struggles to break the hole. Getting her to her feet, where Tony Storm just dropped her before hitting a boot as we come back from the break. Sheeta in the corner as Tony Storm goes for another hip attack, but Sheeta catches her with a German suplex instead. Insiguri followed by a running knee strike twice over gets Sheeta some heart, some hope now as she hits some punches on the champ in the corner. Sheeta keeps on keeps it as Tony Storm leaves the corner only to take a missile drop kick that gets Sheeta a near fall. Sheeta goes up top. Hitting a meteor on Tony Storm, but the champ kicks out. Sheeta sets Tony Storm up on the top turnbuckle, looking for a superplex, but Ruby Soho gets and gets a distraction as the Tony Storm hits a DDT on the challenger. Sheeta heads to the corner, but that only makes makes for bad news as Tony Storm hits hits a hip attack and a storm zero, but Sheeta kicks out at once again. Tony Storm tags. I'm sorry, Tony Storm brings Sheeta back to her feet, shoving her until Sheeta hits a form that leads to exchange of blows between the champ and the challenger. Sheeta gets an upper hand by the champ, sends her to her knees, only for Sheeta to hit a knee strike. Fall Canero on Tony Storm, but the challenger only gets a near fall. Sarah grabs, Sarah grabs the candlestick and sides it into the ring. Slides into the ring, only for Sheeta to grab it, nearly attacking the champ with it. She thinks she thinks better of it, hitting Ruby Soho with the candlestick. But but as the ref gets rid of it, rid of the candlestick, Tony hits her with the spray paint, but Sheeta kicks out. Tony Storm tries to roll Sheeta up, but gets caught with the high stack, high stack as Sheeta gets the pin. And the and, and the win to win the title, the winner and your new AEW Women's World Champion Hukaru Shida. That was a decent match. We get Confetti making the occasions as a shock. Tony Storm leaves the ring to regroup with with the outcasts. With, I mean, say with the outsiders as Shida celebrates her big win to close out this her historic episode of Dynamite. What a main event! I I'll be honest. I've been keeping, I've been keeping tabs on the ongoing Outcast storyline, but I sure wasn't expecting Tony Storm to lose the title here. Makes for her a big win for Sheeta to re, to regain the title, and uh, and uh, AEW Dynamite goes off the air. Okay, like I said earlier, AEW was a um. Was a solid show, and I give it a 5.5 5 out of 10. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my AEW Dynamite review and highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on AEW Dynamite, because it was a solid show, and I give it a 5.5 5 out of 10. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please pull watch the video before you connect with me the right way. And I am grinding, and I am on the road to 5K Bananas. But make sure you guys turn on the notification bell to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord, and threads down below in the description. And I will go live tomorrow on YouTube. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. And also, and I will be going live this Saturday on Twitch, just to play AEW Fight Forever. But anyway, this your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings, kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.